high take a guess. What am I looking at this time? Uh, everybody's wondering what is going on with these plastic bags. I mean, they got to smell. Well, I don't know if right? anybody else has noticed this, but these Target bags smell horrendous. I mean, it's like the most... I mean, I feel like I'm poisoning myself just smelling the thing. So let's get a headspace on that. Maybe there's something crazy in there. All right, we're going to cut a piece right out of the center here. And then we're going to put it in this headspace tube. All right, we got the plastic bag headspace data. This is the Target bag. Um, got a lot of the red logo uh, and a lot of the gray bag in the headspace tube. Well, good thing these are unbreakable. Uh, onto the Headspace GC. Here it is, data coming off this. I have a blank in here, but peak here, this peak here, um, are in my blank. So the only peak that, and this blob too. Uh, we didn't get a whole lot, but we did get one thing that's unique just to the Target plastic bag. Search that in NIST. And uh, what do we get? It is called isoborneal acrylate. It's an acrylate, so it's definitely from plastics, but this is like a borneol. This is like a, let's search this guy in Google, find out some more. It's also called Ageflex IBOA. So I guess it goes in the trade name IBOA, isoborneal acrylate. All right, here's the Ageflex IBOA. This is the isoborneal acrylate. Uh, this is found from the Target plastic bags, and so it's a low percentage, uh, and it's maybe to, to help with the flexibility uh, of the polymer. But it could be coming from the plastic bag printing. Um, it could be in the plastic of the plastic bag itself, so it has flexibility. Um, but the thing that you want to point out is that it is a contact allergen. I IBOA, a photopolymerizable monomer uh, commonly employed in coatings, sealants, glues, adhesives, um, is a contact allergen for some people. Um, it was banned in glucose monitors and insulin pumps because of this, but it's still in uh, you know, home glue guns and, and, and nail cosmetics and apparently in Target. A plastic bag. So if you have a contact allergen to this, I would bring your own bag and not use the uh, re recyclable plastic bags uh, because of this IBOA. So uh, careful out there guys, this IBOA, you can research it yourself, uh, is a potential contact dermatitis allergen that's in plastic bags. Um, and the, probably it's not just Target bags, it's probably all the bags. And so if you're getting like, you know, if you have hands with a bunch of you know, contact dermatitis on them, it's either the nails potentially, or it could be the bags. So just like, you know, don't touch the plastic bags, you know, if you can.